on good waves. This is very similar to a roller coaster. You're, uh, yeah, you're just pumping down and, and generating speed. trying to turn and the whole time you're trying to generate more speed and more speed and more speed to go down the line. People know and everybody knows around me that if, uh, you know, if there's swell that weekend or swell that night or blah, 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 if we have plans, I mean, probably going to break those plants and I'm probably going to surf. I don't know, I think it's combined with my um, sort of competitive nature and the locals and the people around me, it, I, I mean it kind of identifies how extreme it is because they just think we're nuts. Um, yeah, they just think we're, we're crazy for surfing here. Since moving out here for five years, I've um, it's a uh, it's been you know it's become a stoke. It's been it's become something really consistent. So you know, I started with that long board in the back, and um, and I've progressively moved down boards, and uh, yeah, I've gotten better. Community, I think it's the elusive secret. Everyone wants to be a secret. Everyone thinks it's a secret. Everyone tries to keep it a secret. Um, it's uh, not necessarily easily accessible. And I think that's what makes you unique and special. It's sort of a mythological, but it's been 20 years now, like 30, 40 years, like uh, keeping it secret. Um, to be honest, uh, um, over the last decade, um, there was more surfers a decade ago than there was now. Through all the thrill and the anxiety and the excitement and lining up and and trying to have a good session and stuff, the reality is there's a lot of uh, a lot of times there's lulls, there's, there's a lot of waiting, and you're out in the middle of the ocean with your own thoughts and with no distractions and stuff. So it's actually like um, lonely waiting for the wave or waiting through a lull and stuff. But the other, the other part of that is patience. Like patience is, a, is definitely a, a critical component of of, uh, of surfing. adrenaline and stuff but I would call it more like stoke it's some sort of well, balance it's not just all fun it's not all adrenaline right there's work there's risk there's all these other components that add to uh, the feeling it's not just the feeling of being in there and surfing and stuff it's also the feeling uh, that you have afterwards it's, it's itching that scratch before you get in and then it's the fact that everything else is so much easier and palpable, I guess, um, after you serve. I've been climbing um, for about 16 or 17 years here in the province. I uh, started indoors at a gym and uh, fairly quickly transitioned to climbing outside. Um, so I've been doing that uh, basically the majority of my adult life. Uh, so I uh, moonlight as a coach sometimes. Uh, I also have a full-time career as an engineer. Climbing gives a sense of purpose for the day. Um, and in a way, it's, it's a way of constantly uh, learning. For me, climbing is an extremely personal experience. It's about comparing myself to who I was yesterday. And the challenge is to remain as rational and calm and peaceful as you can while you're in those perceptively scary situations. You were in a situation where you're scared, but if you're too scared, then that's gonna 
negatively impact your climbing. So I found myself focusing on little tiny crystals in the rock, uh, how the sun felt, the different sounds that were around me, and not super focusing on finishing the climb, but just enjoying the moment that you were in and every single move that you were feeling. I faced the wall uh, and closed my eyes for as many moments as I need. You do feel a huge adrenaline rush before you start. So once I feel that rush, I'll try my best to breathe heavily and let that feeling escape my body and return down to a lower state. I want to feel in a very calm, very peaceful, very introspective, but yet very aware state of being. Everything just gets a lot slower and quieter. In a way, you're sort of forced to think about exactly what's happening right now and how that left hand feels, what those crystals feel like. Are you placing your right foot exactly where you planned on placing it? All those things you're forced to think about. And in a way, that, uh, that calms your mind down because if you don't, then you're gonna fall. The climbing community is by far the most diverse and non-judgmental group of people that I've ever had the privilege of being a part of. We all understand each other on a fundamental level and accept each other's weaknesses and play to each other's strengths. Our climbing community is hidden in plain sight. You won't walk next to a climber, pass them downtown and realize that they spend their weekends doing what we do. For someone who's curious about what we do or who we are, you're encouraged to educate and seek us out. I've never felt better in my life. Rock climbing for me is probably the biggest aspect of who I am today. I can't see life without it, to be honest. What place does it take up for me? It's, it's, it's basically who, who I consider myself to be. It's essential to my existence. 